What's up everybody? I got another unboxing here for you today. I already did open it. I know everything that's inside, mainly because my computer went and load up the camera or whatever last night because it wanted updated. But first I got two things I got. I got this Budweiser cup glass with these Budweiser playing cards. So they look like normal playing cards. The only difference is the back. Alright. So let's get into the band box. And they are starting to do the one up cards again. I don't know if it's going to be strictly for the pins or if they're going to do it with autographs or artwork. Or stuff like that. So, save that for last. First up is a sloth pit patch from the Goonies. Pretty cool. And this is a note Batman notebook. It's pretty sweet. And in the beginning of it, it has, for a few pages, notes that Batman made in here on Two-Face, and I thought that was pretty cool. And like a bookmark thing, so that's pretty sweet, cool item. Alright. So I'll put on the... Prop replica from Nacho Libre. I have never watched this movie, so there we go. So that's what this is. Taking that off. So the autograph this mo month was from one of the original Power Rangers. I was hoping for pink or green since they were my favorite Rangers. Mainly because they don't use the colors all the time. But we did get the red, original Red Ranger. So that's pretty cool. What was his name? Austin St. James. So that's pretty sweet autograph I mean and I'm glad they did it where it was just a red ranger in the picture not all of them and with their new COAs with the picture of the person alright next up is the art print and it's from the Goonies so there's Chunk and Sloth I like this art print cartoony alright and that one is numbered out of, I got 908 out of 4,000. Alright. Next up, since the Vengeance box was so late, this was the extra item that they included. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of E.T. I might get hate in the comments from that, but it's something I just didn't understand, especially when I watched it when I was younger. Maybe I should go back and watch it again. But... It's an, I like the art print. I like the design. That's a pretty sweet design. It's pretty cool. So, out to the side. Alright, next, I did get a 1 up card. And it is for the pin. And I got Zombie Sean. I mean, this is by far. What pins did I get? Yeah, this is my favorite pin I've ever gotten from Bandbox, so... I mean, the other ones look cool, but this is my favorite one. And I love Shaun of the Dead, so... I don't know if it's numbered on the back or not. Come on. 
And I'm going to keep it with the card too. Normally I don't keep the cards. But this one is green to represent Zombie Sean. And it is numbered on the back, so I got 44 out of 250. Alright, and then this month's theme was Heroes and Villains, Unlikely Heroes. So Batman, Nacho Libre, Sean, the Power Rangers. So there were three pins you could have gotten. So I'm assuming that, I don't, I don't know if there will be different colored one-up cards or if they're going to be the same colored one-up card for the pins. But there were two rarities and then the regular one so the regular one is just Sean with this uh, I, don't, I don't know what the I can't remember what it's called Crockett stick I think something like that it's just the regular one then you got bloody Sean that were limited to a thousand then you got zombie Sean which is out of 250 I mean, okay. The Sean one is released out of 3,000. Alright. It doesn't say if they'll have different colored one up cards, but I know they are bringing the one up cards back, at least for the pins. I would assume the artwork, too. And then there were two different versions of the art. Just the other one, it just has sloth with his hat, and that was out of 500. Then there's the signing with the Red Ranger. Then there's the prop replica of Nacho Libre's mask. Alright. And then the Batman journal. Just pretty cool. I don't know if I'll write in it, what I'll put in it or anything. Alright. And July's theme is going to be... And I'll probably order this one too. We'll have to wait and see. Is Heroes and Villains Animal Influence. Whether a mutant with animal-like abilities, a different species altogether, inspired by an animal or infected by one, we will explore the multi-pop culture universe in this box. It will feature very, a very, it will feature a very special celebrity autograph, as seen, a screen accurate prop replica. Some were born it, some were chosen, some were shaped by, it, and others were infected. Meet them all in June's band box, July's band box. So I I can see Spider Man being in here since I think it comes out in the beginning of July. So I see something Spider Man related being in here. I could also see something Batman related being in here. He's inspired by bats. There's so many different that the heroes and villains that they could do. But I see those two being in there. I'll be surprised at least if Spider Man's not. All right, and there is a giveaway. For a Hugh Jackman signed photo, it is an 11 by 14. To enter, post a picture of you wearing the Nacho Libre mask and post it to Instagram or Facebook or Twitter using hashtag WinBanbox. Winners will be selected. A win we will randomly select a winner Monday, July 10th. So I'm going to try to do that and get that Hugh Jackman autograph. But that was June's fan box. Overall, I liked it a lot. I mean, the uh, main reason I got it, I knew there was going to be Batman, Nacho Libre, Shaun of the Dead, the Goonies in there. But the main reason I got it, though, was for the Power Ranger autograph. That's why I got the box. Because I loved the Power Rangers growing up, especially the original ones. And 
come what is it Tuesday when the it's supposed to be Tuesday I'm going to be arriving the new movie too because that's supposed to be coming out since I love them I love that new movie too they did great with that movie but my favorite item not just because it's a one up I would love the regular one too is the pin because I do like their pins except for that one from the vengeance box that one was shitty alright if you guys like this video leave a like and or a comment and subscribe and I'll catch y'all later